हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर एज यू ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन योर प्रीवियस जूनियर क्लासेस दैट व्हाट टेम्परेचर इट्स अ वेरी बेसिक कंसेप्ट टेम्परेचर इज व्हाट इट इज द डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस एंड कोल्डनेस ऑफ अ बॉडी नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ हीट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन अ बॉडी लेट अस कंसीडर अ बॉडी आई हैव कंसीडर अ बॉडी राइट so we have already this body is matter as we have already studied in our previous lecture that matter is made up of small particles consider that it is made up of very small particles these particles may be atoms or may be molecules now these particles consider these particles are in motion this we have already learned that particles are always moving in a matter so these particles are in motion when a body or particles are in motion they possess some energies that energy is known as kinetic energy firstly what kinetic energy is when a body is in motion it possesses some energy that energy is termed as kinetic energy now what happened if a body is having kinetic energy the particles will collide with each other they having the collisions fine the particles are colliding with each other when these particles collide with each other this energy is converted into heat energy as we know that energy is what this is a energy is a conserv conservative in nature we can convert one form of energy to another form of energy so here kinetic energy is converting into heat energy what we have now what we have to do we have to measure that heat for the measurement of heat we need some physical quantity so that physical quantity is temperature which physical quantity i required to measure the heat that physical quantity is temperature so what temperature is temperature is degree of hotness or coldness okay so we are having different scales to measure the temperature the very common scales are celsius scale it is also known as centigrade scale how we denote celsius scale we denote celsius scale as degree celsius the next is fahrenheit scale how we denote fahrenheit scale as degree fahrenheit degree f next is kelvin scale how we denote kelvin scale we denote kelvin scale as simply k no down here no degree i will use kelvin scale is only separate simply represented as k it is also considered as si unit of temperature so what is si unit of temperature that is kelvin let's compare all these all these scales for the case of water as you know the freezing point of water in celsius scale is 0 degree boiling point of water at celsius scale is 100 degree celsius in case of kelvin freezing point of water is 273 boiling point of water is 373 and for fahrenheit scale what is the freezing point of water that is 32 degree fahrenheit boiling point of water in fahrenheit scale is 212 fahrenheit now let's discuss the different relationship between these scales we will discuss the relation between celsius scale and kelvin scale and we will discuss the relation between celsius scale and fahrenheit scale let's discuss now see very first relation between degree celsius and kelvin what is relation between degree celsius and kelvin the relation is simply kelvin is equals to degree celsius plus 273.15 kelvin means temperature on the kelvin scale here i will write this is temperature on kelvin scale degree degree c means this is temperature on celsius scale plus 273.15 
273.15. For convenience, I just consider K is equals to degree C plus 273. Let's take the example. Convert 37 degree Celsius to Kelvin. How you will convert? So first we write down that is temperature on Celsius scale is that is given that is 37 degree Celsius. We have to find the temperature on Celsius, Kelvin scale. Kelvin scale, so temperature in Celsius scale is given that is 37 plus 273. So what it will be? It will be 310. So for 37, it means 37 degree Celsius is equals to how many Kelvins? It is equals to 310 10 Kelvin. Okay. So note down this. Okay. So I hope everyone has noted down this one. Let's consider second example. Convert 400 Kelvin into degree Celsius. So what is given? Temperature on Kelvin scale is given to you. Temperature on Kelvin scale is 400 Kelvin. We have to convert it into degree Celsius. Use this relation. K is equals to degree Celsius plus 273. So degree Celsius is equal to K minus 273. Degree Celsius it is equal to in Kelvin it is given that is 400 minus 273. Subtract it what it will be? 7, 2 and 1. So it means 400 Kelvin equal to how many degree Celsius? 127 degree Celsius. What is the relation between Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale? The relation between Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale is Celsius scale is equal to 5 by 9 in bracket Fahrenheit scale minus 32. Or in another word, if you want to change, we want to find Fahrenheit and Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, how you will write? This 9 will go this side, 9 by 5 degree Celsius plus 32. Okay. So tell me what is the room temperature? Yes. Room temperature is 25 degree Celsius. What we have to do? We have to convert. Okay. So we have to convert this 25 degree Celsius to Fahrenheit scale. How you will convert? Substitute the values here. Substitute, you can substitute value here. What it will be? Degree Fahrenheit is equals to 9 by 5. What is temperature given in Celsius scale? That is 25 plus 32. Do the calculation. That is 5. 9, 5 to 45 plus 32. That is equals to 77 degree Fahrenheit. So it means... Room temperature, room temperature in Fahrenheit scale is 77 degree Fahrenheit. You know the uh, body temperature? Yes. The body temperature is, I will do the example here. Body temperature is, second example I am taking. Body temperature is equals to 37 degree Celsius. In Celsius it is 37 degree Celsius. You know in Fahrenheit scale. In Fahrenheit scale, it is 98.6. Now see whether it comes or not. Okay. So in degree Fahrenheit, I will write 9 by 5 into 37 plus 32. So when you solve it, it will become 66.6 plus 32. It is equals to when you solve it, this is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so it means 37 degree Celsius or the body temperature in Fahrenheit scale is 98.6 degree Celsius and in Celsius scale it is 37 degree Celsius.